Hey, how you doing? Hey, it's good to see you again. I'm glad you could make it. Listen, I just had that, um, I want to talk to you about that one situation you had when you were at work. I thought it was a great situation. Listen, as I recall, you were working and the president of the company comes over and she says, listen, I want to call you into this meeting. So you go into the meeting and you have the vice president of sales there and the vice president of human resources. And the vice president of sales says, hey, listen, I know we're taking these people, these salespeople, the high producers on, you know, this, uh, this, this winning prize or they, they win uh, to go on a vacation. And we've been going to Vegas. Let's continue to go to Vegas. And the vice president of HR, she's saying, no, 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 we don't want to get on a plane in these days on that environment. Plus, Vegas is kind of the old boys club. We want to bring the spouses. Let's go to the Jersey Shore. We'll have a nice shore town. We'll have a house on the beach. It'll be really nice. And the president is inclined to go with that second one. And the vice president of sales says, yeah, but you know what? In Vegas, you got the desert. There's no rain. You know, you want to have a rain out. We should go down to the shore. I've been down there. They have squalls coming through. You have rain outs. It'll be miserable. Who's going to want that? So the president turns to you and says, I know it's not a financial matter, but can, can you find out, you know, what's the likelihood, the probability of it raining down there? That wouldn't be much fun. So you said, okay, all right, fine. So what you did was you went into um, some websites to get the rainfall at this shore town in the month of September. Um, and over the past five years. So you went in, you got the data points for 2017, 18, 19, 20, and 21 for the 30 days of September. And I said, well, fine, what do you do with that? What's it look like? And you said, well, it's expressed in inches. It could be zero or 0.1 inch or you know, one full inch or two inches or a quarter of an inch, et cetera. Okay, so um, how many days are you looking at? And you said, well, the president said, we're going on a trip for seven days. It's a seven day trip. Okay, all right, I think I get it. So you keep going, now what? Well, you told me you had to try to decide, do you want just no days of rain, which you could do, or do you want to look at a certain amount of rain? So you showed me this rain amount guidelines that you know you pulled off the internet. If you go all the way down to the bottom, you can see that an inch of rain would be heavy rain for several hours, two to five hours, deep standing water. Well, certainly that's a rain out. And obviously, a very smallest amount is, you know, one hundredth of an inch is a, a light shower for two to five minutes. Well, I'm sure the president would be, would be fine with that. So we going through there. You looked at where it said a half an inch of rain. A half an inch of rain is a one to two hours of heavy rain, moderate for one to two hours, and heavy rain for thirty to forty five minutes. Well, you know, maybe that's kind of the the guideline or the break even point. So you figured, you'd examine it. If it's over a half an inch of rain, that's a, that's a rainy day. Okay, all right, fine. So what did you find out? Well, by doing a simple uh, count if in Excel, you're able to count the 150 data points, and if it exceeded um, half an inch of rain, you counted it. Okay, well, what was your result? Well, you found there was 16 days of uh, rain. Well, that doesn't sound like very much. 16 days doesn't sound like very much. You know, so you just told them, you know, no, you told her no, it'll be fine. Well, no, 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 you said. Really, what you have to do is it'll be a Poisson distribution. Well, what's a Poisson distribution? So you showed me a Poisson distribution is a discrete probability distribution that expresses the probability of a given number of events occurring in a fixed interval of time or space if these events occur with a known constant mean rate and independently of the time since the last event. Well, I, I tell you, sorry, I don't understand that. That sounds like gobbledygook. Well, you said, you know, it's really not that hard. Down at the shore, you could have a big squall that comes through that lasts for one, two, three days. Or you could have no rain for a week or two weeks. It's, it could be intermittent, but there's no fixed period. And however, we think that probably in the month of September, the conditions on land and sea would probably be condition, you know, consistent from year to year. Okay. All right. A... Um, a Poisson distribution. Is there some kind of formula for that? So you put this formula, you show me this, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh. Okay, give me a minute there. I don't even know if I can digest that. Let me see.
Okay, let me see that again. So it's px, what's that? The probability of x is equal to lambda raised to the x, e raised to the negative lambda, all over the denominator of x factorial. Okay, I'll tell you what, you know, uh, I got to admit, that's just over my head. I don't think I can do this. You know what? I'll go wait in the car. You said, no, 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 no. Yes, that does look, you know, kind of things. Just uh, kind of hairy. Go to Excel. All right, what's Excel say? Well, here's the formula for Excel. Equals P-O-I-S-S-O-N dot D-I-S-T, open parentheses, X, put in the value of X, comma mean, put in your mean, comma cumulative, which could be true or false, and close the parentheses. Okay, I said, I think I could do something like that. How do you get these values? Well, in this scenario, you told me, you have data points, you have 150 data points. The number of days with rain over half an inch is 16. We want to look at an average over seven days. So the average would be 16 divided by 150 times seven. That gives you 0.74667. That's the mean. That's the second value in that um, formula. Okay, yeah, I, I think I'm getting this. Keep going, now why? Well, the probability of getting zero days of rain in that seven day period is expressed as equals P-O-I-S-S-O-N dot D-I-S-T, open the parentheses, zero, zero days of rain, comma, 0 0.74667, that's, that's our mean, comma, false, close parentheses, you hit enter, Excel pops up with a result of 0.7439. So there's a 47% probability of no rain or, or, or less than half an inch of rain. Hey, okay, pretty cool. What about one day of rain? Well, the probability of getting one day of rain in that seven day period is equals P-O-I-S-S-O-N dot D-I-S-T, open parentheses, one, comma, 0 0.74667, comma, false. You close the parentheses, you hit enter, and you get result of 0.3538. So there's a 35% probability of getting exactly one day of rain, of rain of greater than a half an inch. Now, if you want to add the numbers together, you can get the probability of zero or one day of rain, and that would be 0.47 plus 0.35, which is 8.82 or 82%, or Excel can do that too, and this time you put in equals P-O-I-S-S-O-N dot D-I-S-T, open parentheses, one, comma, 0 0.07446, comma, this time you're going to put in true for cumulative, close parentheses, the true statement makes a cumulative, you hit enter, and it returns 0 0.8278, which is 83%, which is, you know, the same number when you add them together manually. So you took this to the president, and you said, told the president, look, it could run, you know, rain at any time, it could rain at night, it could be raining when you're having dinner but there's a 82% chance, likelihood, that the threshold of a half an inch, that it won't rain at all, it'll rain no days of a half an inch or one day of a half an inch. And she said, well, those are the those are numbers and probabilities that I can live with. I think we should go get some suntan lotion, go get some sunshades, and that's what we're gonna do this year. And so she was very pleased with what you did. What you did was you were able to recognize it as a Poisson distribution, and you're able to use Excel to give you information that the president can make a decision based on. That's why you are one ace accountant. And you know what? Let's give you a round of applause.